Okay, here is a wonderful effect by Warner Miller. He calls it the Austrian equivalent. And I'll add a link in the description below to the ebook in which you can find this effect, as well as a link to an entire library of mathematical card effects created by Warner Miller. Okay, so for this, you need the kings and queens of the four suits. So I have clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Okay, and then you need like a joker or an ace as a helper card. So what you need the spectator to do, there's some things they'll need to do with your back turned as the performer. The spectator needs to kind of secretly decide on one of the royalty pairs. And then what they need to do, let me just show you what they need to do once. So imagine your back is turned and this is the spectator doing the next few steps. So what the spectator is being asked to do is select a pair. Maybe they'll choose the hearts, but they don't tell you. Have them place this ace face down between the king and queen like that. Okay and then have them randomly stack these four piles in whatever order they would like. So maybe they'll pick up this one, then that one, then this one, then that one. It truly is a free choice. Then simply have them turn the packet face down like this, and then have you turn around as the performer. Now from here, what you need to do as the performer is simply ask the spectator to randomly cut the packet wherever they would like and to complete the cut, that's fine. And then deal out the cards into two piles and have the spectator decide how to stack the piles, left on right or right on left. Maybe they want right on left, that's fine. Now have the spectator randomly cut the cards again Maybe they'll cut there and complete the cut. Then do a second left right with random stacking decided by the spectator. Maybe they want left on right, that's fine. Have them randomly cut the packet a third and final time here and complete the cut. And then you need to deal out the cards one last time here into two piles with random stacking decided by the spectator. Maybe they want right on left, okay? Now, once the spectator has made all of those choices, you as a performer simply need to take the cards and cut the ace of diamonds to the top. So all that means is you locate the ace, the cards above the ace get moved to the bottom, just like that. And then take the top two cards, set them down like so, and then tell the spectator that the cards are now going to clearly communicate to you, the performer, and in fact, to the entire world, the suit of the royalty pair that the spectator freely and randomly chose at the beginning, okay? So how are the cards going to tell us that? Well, just watch. I'm going to push off the first pairs, and apparently you did not choose the nor did you choose the clubs. Nor did you choose the spades. Well, there's only one possibility. You must have, in fact, chosen the hearts, which is indeed the case. Okay, whoa, what a cool effect. So if you carry out the steps as shown here, this will work for you every time. If you're wanting to see under the hood, as to why this is working, a simple way to see that is to perform all of this with the cards face up. So once you get the steps down so that you can complete the routine, go through the whole thing with the cards face up and then just pay attention to the movement of the cards and you'll see exactly why it works. But it's a very, very clever routine that gives the spectator so much freedom in the choices that they make that it really is hard to believe that it is guaranteed to always finish with revealing very clearly the suit of the king and queen the spectator freely chose at the start. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.